because it's a it's an old dog. Uh, apart from that, it's having some uh, anemic condition like tick fever. So we started the basic treatments. And you're saying this is caused then by someone actually with a machete on the top of the head. That's uh, what it looks be, like. Could be some knife, knife some or knife sword, or. Yeah. And the age of the dog, you think? Uh, nearly eight to ten years. And how many maggots were inside the head? Nearly thousands. Thousands of maggots. How big is the hole? Uh, it's five to six centimeter. The the diameter, and the, the wound must be around two to three inches. Two to three, three inches. What the open wound? Yeah. yeah. So the next form of treatment then we can do then, so the maggots are now dead. Yeah, and we've, removed, cleaned all the And maggots. we've cleaned, cleaned all the, the actual open uh, and it's wound much, space out. Now it, the wound is less smelly than yesterday. So then at what point do you think then we can actually then, uh, is there any operations, is there anything that we can do with the dog? No, basically what we have to do is we have to fill the area with new tissues. So for that we have to start the drugs to stimulate the tissue growth. Then we can think about stitching the skin together to cover that area. But it will take nearly uh, at least 10 days, one week to 10 days. One week to 10 days before yeah. we can make an operation yeah. then, yeah? Before that we have to uh, make sure the dog is in good condition uh, for the surgery. So at the moment now we've just given him some medicines now to sleep yeah. quietly. Yeah. Okay, so may we all pray for Prince that he makes a recovery then. Okay, thank you, Dr. Roshan. Okay, it's a pleasure, Mr. Martin.